happy Saturday. It's all good. I have my biggie mug. And I'm eyeing a lizard out there who is uh, stalking my tomato plant. Comment below, you guys. How do you keep those little lizards and other other woodland creatures away from your away from your plants? I have that plant poke, this giant dragonfly. That I think kind of scares him away because he's looking at it like he's giving the dragonfly the stink eye right now. He's even puffing up this little like red gill thing under his neck, like trying to be scary. It's a competition out there. It's like gangs of New York horticultural audition. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I was out there watering my plant and it's amazing you guys, we're having like this drop in humidity and temperature that is, it's like a breath of fresh air. It's kind of a, a little light at the end of the tunnel for fall I'm looking forward to. I'm looking forward to, to um, you know, pumpkin spice season. I, I can't help it. I, I'm a fan of all things autumnal. I always have been. I mean, it's it's the best season. That and um, yeah, I think fall is the best season. You're not miserable, miserably cold. You're not dealing with snow. You're not boiling hot. You're not suffering with pollen from the spring. Spring is in theory beautiful, but it's a it's an atopic's worst nightmare. Uh, so fall, I'm looking forward to. But anyways, I um, wanted to share with you guys, I have been really enjoying the Super Goop Zinc screen. I just put it all over my face this morning as my base layer sunscreen. I really like it. It goes on really nicely um, and doesn't have a cast. It has a tint in it, but uh, you don't really see the tint. So, um, you know, it's a great base layer sunscreen. It doesn't sting around the eyes or anything. And I also, of course, always love using the Color Science Mineral Shield on top of things. And you might ask, like, why does she layer two tinted sunscreens or two sunscreens like that? I just put the Color Science Mineral one on because it's almost kind of like a BB cream in a way that it kind of gives some nice color correction. And honestly, I, if the Color Science one wasn't, weren't so expensive, I would probably use it all over my entire face and to my eyes and everything. Cause I just really like the way it looks and it's a uh, water resistant, whereas the Super Goop one is not. And it's SPF 50, but yeah, they're both really good. So that's what I um, did this morning for my sunscreen. And uh, I'm really liking it a lot. Uh, I just wish it were a little less costly. Oh, but speaking of costly, a viewer was so nice and sent me a little care package. And in the care package, they sent me this moisturizer that I have been trying out. And I shared it with you guys on my Instagram uh, two weeks ago. Um, but uh, it's the Murad Hydrodynamic Ultimate Ultimate Moisture Moisturizer. I've only used it, used it a few times, but it's really nice. It's basically just like a white cream. Um, you can see where I took a little scoop out there. But uh, it's, it's come to the Scoopy Doodle as well. I was just keeping it in the box here because I want to make sure I have the ingredients here. It has ceramides in it and it has um, peptides in it. It's got shea butter. It also has, um, what's the other juicy thing? Oh, Saccharomyces cerevisiae yeast extract, which is in a lot of cosmetics and just kind of imparts humectants to things. It's really nice. Um, but, uh, and it's fragrance free, which is great because a lot of times the Murad stuff, he'll put, I say he, so Dr. Murad actually, actually like makes the product himself. Um, but uh, the products will often have fragrance in them. I actually met Dr. Murad once. He's a very nice man. Uh, he has an app, by the way. I think he still has it. Because uh, he's very um, artistic and artistically inclined. He has this mindful, I think it's a mindfulness app where you can look at these like, it's like guided imagery, which can be really helpful if you're coping with like stress and, you know, kind of bouts of anxiety and things. Guided imagery is like kind of a nice way to redirect yourself and calm yourself down. So he's got an app uh, that he he was uh, talking about at a meeting and it's really nice. I, I don't know if it's still active, but anyways, God, <laughs> yammering aside, uh, I really love this, but it's so expensive, you guys. I, um, you know, there are, in my opinion, the CeraVe Renewing Night Cream offers similar benefits, and then it too has ceramides and peptides in it, and is shea butter based. 
and is less costly. But the CeraVe Renewing Night Cream, the consistency of it is quite thick. Some of you have noted that yourselves. This is much lighter, but it's still it's still a heavy, still a heavy, thick, uh, nourishing, moisturizing cream. Uh, but the CeraVe one, you notice it almost it's got more of a waxy like base consistency uh, that really really is a little thicker and, and more. Or difficult to spread but I, I think it's a suitable alternative when I shared this on my Instagram with you guys and I think I shared it on my Facebook page too I um I also shared um, a um, you guys shop in the like to know it app I I have a like to know it profile and so if you guys use that you should follow me there because I'll frequently post stuff like this and then I'll also post products that I consider like more affordable alternatives and so I listed some others, but among the list was CeraVe's Renewing Night Cream. So check that out. I, it, you know, I post on there a few times a week, some of this stuff. So it's a good way to kind of keep up and see like just different products that I talk about. If you ever like, like, I know she talked about this at one point, but I can't remember which video it was. Maybe that's kind of a nice way to, to see everything. But yeah, anyways. I think this is like 75 bucks. I'm not entirely sure. It's really expensive. So, you know, not something that anybody needs. You can achieve similar outcomes with a with a drugstore moisturizer, but I really like it. It's a nice, nice moisturizer. Um, I got some stuff from the Amazonian. Nothing too exciting. I order my running shoes from Amazon. I'm on A6. A6 wear. I'm wearing the, um, what is this called? I can always tell by the picture. Gel Venture 6. It's kind of like a trail running shoe. I just find that they last a little bit longer and give a little bit more reliable support. But recently, I tried the Gel Kyanos because I'd always heard these amazing things about Gel Kyanos. Like every runner I've ever known who likes Asics is always like, oh, Gel Kyanos. Yes, they're more expensive, but all the way. I recently tried them and I was sorely, sorely disappointed with them. I found they did not last nearly as long. I just didn't find that they were supportive. And I was looking at the wear of them and I noticed that the heel didn't seem to wear evenly. It was unusual. I've never had that issue before. Um, and I didn't purchase the Kayanos on Amazon. I know sometimes people are like, well, maybe you got a fake whatever on Amazon. By the way, I've never had, I've never had anything fraudulent that I purchased on Amazon, but those particular Kayanos I bought uh, from ASICS, I think, or probably not ASICS, like maybe, I don't know, one of those running store chains online. And uh, yeah, I was not happy with them. So I went back to the gel, whatever they're called, uh, and they last me uh, several months, but with the humidity, they don't dry, you know, in the summer, the humidity, they don't dry out as quickly. It's kind of like ballet shoes. I should rotate, I should rotate my shoes between Runs. So yeah, I got running shoes and really exciting, you guys. I got batteries. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, this this is a, it wasn't on Amazon Prime Day that I got this. Actually, maybe it was. I'm just now opening them up though, because I had a ten dollar gift card to be used on Amazon Prime Day that I got through. Whole Foods. Whole Foods had a deal where if you purchased anything in store, you got a ten dollar coupon to shop on Amazon Prime. And they're trying to they're trying to bring you in through the whole whole circuit. Anyway, so I used the coupon to get these batteries, which were about ten dollars. I've never used the Amazon Basics batteries before, um, so hopefully these aren't duds. But just when you thought this video couldn't get any cooler with the battery reveal, check out my battery organizer. Although I hate this label because it's not, I haven't taken the time to remove it properly and it just irritates me. Anyways, um, yeah, I have a battery organizer. Uh, it's convenient, but my mom got me this actually for Christmas. The one thing I don't care for about it, however, is that the batteries topple. So it's fine. It's all well and good when you get a new battery pack and everything fits in there snug snugly. But once you use a battery, then these little soldiers, they're, they're like toppling all over. So it's not, it's not the best design, but it keeps them all together in one place. So you know where your batteries are when you need them. Um, so 
yeah, I'm just making this vlog extra exciting by putting the batteries in the box, <laughs> you guys. But yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. And uh, actually later, my mom and I are going to do a little volunteer event that I'm kind of excited for. Uh, it's a back to school event where we are um, collating school supplies to donate to uh, children in need putting in backpacks. I think that's going to be fun. I don't know if I'll be able to film at that, um, but if so, I will take, I will make every effort to. I never know, you know, how things are going to unfold. So I don't like to make promises earlier in the vlog to then disappoint you because I wasn't able to deliver. Uh, but before that occurs, I'm going to do a little meal preppage. Uh, not meal preppage, but food, food preppage. Basically, I'm gonna chop up a cantaloupe. <laughs> no, cantaloupe is not a meal, but I find it's convenient to do it when I have this time because I wanna watch some YouTube and sip on my coffee. And why not multitask and chop up a piece of fruit? My cantaloupe chopped up for the week. <clears throat> um, these are those Pyrex uh, roasting containers that I purchased at Costco a while back. I love them. I use them to store chopped fruits and vegetables, but the uh, lids are really nice because uh, you can like let the suction out. I need to get the lid for this. It's just a Pyrex bowl, but yeah, I love Pyrex. Anyways, yeah, I have my, my melons for the week. All right, so I don't know if you guys remember, but at one point I had chocolate mint in this pot and it died. Well, I had some chia seeds that I had purchased and I transferred them into a jar and there were some chia seeds clinging for dear life to the inside of the bag. So I filled the bag with water and just dumped them out into this pot thinking, oh, well, maybe the chia seeds will sprout. Did they ever? Look at that. I have like a whole new plant here. Grass. Ch -ch -ch chia all right, really quickly, I'm gonna share with you guys my recipe that I've come up with and is delicious for chocolate almond milk. It's good. Uh, what I have here is one quarter of cup of raw unsalted almonds. And I also have a tablespoon of cacao nibs, the fermented ones by Teta Soul. I have it soaking in water. I don't know how necessary this step is. I just do it and I don't soak it for any guaranteed amount of time. I just, whatever is left over in my kettle when I boil water in the morning, I'll just dump it on the almonds and let them sit until I get around to making the almond milk. Anyways, so I'm gonna drain that off and put it into the uh, nut cup. <laughs> and to the nut cup, in addition to the drained almond cacao nibs, I'm also gonna add a tablespoon of cacao powder and I'm gonna add a full teaspoon uh, which is about eight servings of stevia. And then I'm gonna put that on the blade and I'm gonna add uh, two jugs full, about, about a liter of uh, water and I'll make chocolate almond milk. All right, I added the water and there's my nut cacao mix in there. All right, so 
Technically, it could be done at this point, but I go ahead and hit that mill. It's the mill button that makes that grinding noise. It grinds everything up. I do that about five times uh, just to get make sure I get every last bit. And boom, uh, fresh uh, chocolate almond milk. It is so delicious. <laughs> Tybee, what don't you like? I don't like that the straps don't fall to the outside. Oh, well, you know, I, and, uh, I just got it, so yeah, probably by the time I start yet. using it, my mom is this. eyeing my new toy. Hi, everybody. Happy we just, weekend. We just got back from... We just got back from stuffing backpacks. That was fun. Yeah, that was the greatest little uh, project, yeah. the way they had it organized. Yeah, it was really well organized. Um, was, uh, all we had to do was put the school Go through an assembly line. On an assembly line. It was yeah. really nice. Yeah, they had bags with uh, notepads and markers. <laughs> yeah, it was, and it was all organized by grade. We started with pre-KK. Mm -hmm. Then first grade, second grade. Um, it went all the way to 10, but we kind of went out at 4 or 5. Yeah. We were there. This is nice. I want one of these. We should get one. What is this color called? Gray, I think. Oh, this is gray? I think so, yeah. Because they have, I really like the color. They have one that color, and I think they have one that's navy, and then they have two that are actual leather, but I didn't want, obviously, leather. But the detailing on it is leather at which is fake leather can you get it monogrammed you can yeah you can that'd be nice i'm surprised she doesn't offer that you know how I they're really into like customizing this. and add-ons yeah it's nice yeah this is going to be my new <laughs> you're taking my bag no. she goes this is going to be my new bag no i'm going to get me one it looks so nice on you yeah and look, it's got the uh, leatherette on the inside here. Yeah. So it doesn't get too soiled. Tidy, yeah. Well, that's really nice. Little boy. I'm glad you got that. Time for a little instant coffee. Nice cafe. We were just talking about the Mr. Rogers movie, uh, seeing a coming attraction for it. I want to see it, but you don't. I, I'm afraid if I start picturing Tom Hanks as Mr. Rogers, I'll forget the real man. Yeah. But that's just silly. I'm sure it's going to be good. I want to see it. I want to see um, the movie about. Judy Garland. Yeah, that's coming That looks out really good. September. Yeah, that looks really good. Do that again? I don't no. Know. <laughs> My mom is doing her Mick Jagger impression because the Rolling Stones are having a concert tonight. Yeah, right, right down the road from us. And I offered to take you, but she declined. It's too expensive. Rolling Stones concert. I realized they've been around a long time. The performance is worth yeah. the money. I'm not saying that. It's just that for us to go battle the crowd and all yeah. that. I've seen the Rolling Stones live twice. Well, aren't you? So, <laughs> this roadie. Do you realize that he is seventy six? Groupie, not roadie. No, I was never roadie. He's seventy six. I hear he wears sunscreen. Well, good. Yeah, and he, he exercises. He doesn't go out in the sun very often. Probably right? not. And he, his father was some type of a, 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 a phys ed coach type man. Yeah. And from an early age, Mick Jagger was very active. Yeah, I've read that athletic. too. And athletic. Yeah. And I think that's paid off. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah, he. I remember when I was young thinking that he looked pretty good for his age, and now he. He hasn't aged at all. 
Well, I mean, a little bit, but he does look a little ropey. Yeah, <laughs> but he's always looked that way. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Here you go. He looks pretty good. Madonna puts on a really good show. She doesn't stop dancing the entire time, but in contrast, her mentee, as I refer to her, Britney Spears, because Britney Spears is basically a Madonna re reproduction. You know, like she she kind of copies Madonna. I mean, when I went to I went to see Britney Spears in Las Vegas, she did. it was a good show, but I could, you know, if I closed my eyes, if I squinted. I couldn't tell if I was at the Britney Spears concert or the Madonna concert because they were doing the same kind of choreography and everything. But when you looked, Madonna was really into it and really delivering a show, and Britney Spears was just kind of going through the motions. She didn't really, oh. she doesn't have, doesn't have the same stage, stage mm -hmm. presence that Madonna does. Madonna's a performer. Britney is a mimicker. <laughs> okay. Well, but I did, I do like Britney Spears. Yeah. But. She's definitely a Madonna mentee. I don't know if that show is even still on in Las Vegas anymore. I'd like to see um, Beyonce. I bet that's good. She's good. This is her hometown. Yeah. 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 What, um, in 2017 for the Super Bowl, remember uh -huh. Gaga came here? Yeah. And she was dropped um, onto the NRG Stadium from yeah. the helicopter or something? Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty exciting. Yeah, I'd like to see Lady that. Gaga. <laughs> <laughs> Tails a wagon. He goes, first I have to destroy it, Tag. <laughs> well, Tybee's just as happy as can be with his, with his hedgehog. You introducing him to all your friends? Hell yes. Anyways, guys, I think I'm going to wrap the vlog up here. I hope you all enjoyed it. We certainly are having a nice day. So if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen, sunscreen and subscribe. subscribe. I'll talk Bye. to you guys tomorrow. Bye.